here we discuss limit point compactness already we know what is compact topological spaces a topological space x is called compact if every open cover of x has a finite sub cover so this is the outline uh, definitions limit point compactness is weaker than compactness sequential compactness and its properties characterization theorem so first we define limit point uh, compactness so basically there are uh, other useful formulation of compactness one of them is limit point compactness limit point compactness is weaker than usual compactness there are uh, there is another notion uh, of compactness that is sequential compactness and we will show that for metrizable topological spaces that is for metric spaces these three notions of compactness are equivalent so first we recall the definition of limit point then we define what is limit point compactness let x be a topological space and a is subset of x a point x in the topological space x is called a limit point of a if for any open subset ux of the topological space x containing the point x we have a intersection with ux minus singleton set x is non empty that is every deleted neighborhood of x intersect the set a now we define limit point compactness a topological space x is called limit point compact if every infinite subset of x has a limit point for example n dimensional sphere sn which is equal to set of all points in n plus one dimensional euclidean space whose norm is equal to one and sn is bounded and closed subset of r n plus one hence uh, sn is compact therefore it is limit point compact basically every compact metric space is limit point compact now here we have another example example 2 here x equal to n cartesian product with y where n is set of natural numbers equipped with discrete topology that is every singleton set is open and y y is a two point set basically y equal to a comma b and here on y we have discrete topology in discrete topology tau y equal to empty set and the full set y this is in discrete topology and this is Cartesian product n cross y. So on x we have product topology. Then every infinite infinite subset of x has a limit point, and therefore x is limit point compact. Now here we have exercise. Find more examples of limit point compact topological spaces. Well, uh, now we uh, show that uh, compactness implies limit point compactness. That is, if X is compact topological space, then 
x is length point compact so left left, side, left hand side implies right hand side so left hand side is stronger than right hand side that is limit point compactness is weaker than usual compactness in other words compactness is stronger than limit point compactness so now we prove uh, theorem one basically uh, this is our uh, assumption uh, x b uh, compact and a is subset of x then to show if a is infinite then a has a limit point or equivalently if a has no limit point then a is finite so this is the first statement uh, a is infinite implies uh, a has a limit point so the second statement is equivalent to the first one the second statement is a has no limit point implies a is finite basically we prove the second statement suppose uh, a has no limit point then a closer equal to a because you know a closer is smallest closed subset of x containing a and that is equal to a union with a prime where a prime is set of all limit points of a and by hypothesis uh, a prime is empty because a has no limit point therefore a closer equal to a that is a is closed okay so and also because a has no limit point therefore every point a in the set a is an isolated point that means for every a there exists some open set ua open set in x such that ua intersection with a equal to the single tone set a now we consider the collection a equal to ua such that a belongs to a union with x minus a first of all you see u a this is open in x so every u uh, a is open and here we have seen a is closed so its complement is open its, its complement is x minus a so x minus a this is open therefore a is collection of open subsets of x and it is easy to see that this is an open cover of x because x minus a this covers the complement of a and this collection u a such that a contained in a this covers a so all together all together this collection is cover of the topological space x now we know <coughs> x is compact this is hypothesis that means this open cover admits a finite sub cover we may have a finite sub collection u a1 and so on u a n union with x minus a such that x equal to union u a i i runs through 1 to n union 
x minus a this is finite sub cover now a intersection with x minus a equal to empty set x minus a this is a complement so a intersection with a complement equal to empty set and u a i intersection with a that is equal to singleton set a i from here from the first item therefore if you take x intersection with a here and right hand side intersection with a we get this is equal to u a i intersection with a union i equal to 1 to n and then union x minus a intersection with a and this component will be empty set and this component will be a1 and so on a n and left hand side a intersection x that is equal to a so we have a equal to finite set a1 and so on a n so Uh, that is what we wanted to prove a has no limit point implies uh, a is finite that is what we have obtained a equal to finite set this completes the proof